There have been quite a few Indiana Jones games released over the years, and one that didn't get very much recognition is Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. This game was released back in 2003 on the Xbox, PS2 and PC, and is a prequel to the Temple of Doom film. The Emperor's Tomb takes place all across the globe, from South America to Asia to Europe and even the underworld, and while the story is decent, it's nothing special. You've probably already noticed that there's quite a bit of combat here, but unlike so many other games, the fighting is actually very enjoyable. Using weapons like bottles and chairs to beat up Nazis and thugs is extremely satisfying and really captures the feel of the fight scenes in the films. The combat's pretty straightforward, but it never feels boring or easy. You also get to use guns and grenades, and while these are fun to use, they take a backseat to the hand-to-hand -hand stuff. There's a lot more to this game than combat though, and the exploration is also very well done. Searching through the levels for keys and artifacts is a lot more entertaining than it sounds, partly due to the wide variety of environments, and the balance of exploration and combat stops the game from feeling repetitive or boring. You also have to solve some puzzles along the way, but there aren't that many of these. While the puzzles won't make you race for a walkthrough, they do require some thought, and this one here with the Zodiac Clock is particularly memorable. It's disappointing that they didn't sprinkle more puzzles throughout the game, because the ones that are here are quite good. That's not to say that all the gameplay is up to the same standard, however, as the platforming can be downright awful. Jumping in this game can be stiff and clunky, and I died several times when trying to jump over a bottomless pit. This is made less frustrating with the short length of the levels, which means you aren't sent back too far when you die, but it's still pretty annoying. The swimming controls can also feel quite clunky, which doesn't help when you're being attacked by a shark or a crocodile. The sound in the game is a bit of a mixed bag. The sound effects are fine, and Indy's voice actor does a good job of sounding like Harrison Ford. Ivory hunters. These guys are no boy scouts. You better watch my back. On the other hand, the voice actor for Indy's assistant Mei Ying, who looks like a Chinese version of Super Nanny, isn't as convincing. You do not realize the magnitude of the events you have set in motion, Dr. Jones. Even as we speak, others are pursuing the two remaining pieces. The soundtrack's very good, but it often begins to stutter and sometimes stops completely. This is really annoying because when the music plays properly, it really adds something to the game. The bugs aren't limited to the music either, as some of the graphics and animations can look very glitchy. It's a shame that the developers didn't spend some more time polishing the Emperor's Tomb, because it would have been a brilliant game if they'd improved the platform and removed the bugs, but as it stands, the game's limited by some of the problems it has. However, if you can look past these issues, you'll find a really enjoyable and challenging game. I'd recommend picking up the Emperor's Tomb if you enjoy adventure games, especially if you're a fan of the Indiana Jones films.